childhood friends. The friends who are basically family, are the joys and banes of our existence. Getting in our way, troubling us with their problems, encouraging us when we're down, supporting us when no one else is around. These are the friends we get into the most trouble with, but also the very same friends we achieve most of our successes with. The story we're discussing today is a very new story about, well you guessed it, a childhood friend. That story being Shigao Miyahara Omae Janai in Japanese, or No Miyahara Not You in English. A manga that's being written by Obia Midori and illustrated by Fujitaka Sumuri. Now, what is this story about? The manga centers in Arima, a boy who has a crush on a girl named Yukihira. But every time he tries to make a move to get close to the Yukihira, his childhood friend Miyahara just happens to be in the scene and will always mistakenly think that Arima is making a move on her. Thank you, Any News Network. And in simple words, this is the guide to cock blocking. Arima is your typical wholesome rom-com protagonist. His personality kind of reminds me of Nishikata from Teasing Master Takagi-san. And much like Nishikata, this kid is always thinking up some plan to win. Except unlike Nishikata, this kid already knows who he likes from the start of the series and it doesn't take him over 178 chapters just to figure out his feelings. Moving on from bashing Nikikata, Arima's plans are pretty hilarious and just highlight that awkward behavior or talk process we all went through when trying to get the persons we like attention. Arima taking up plans like changing his hairstyle, learning to play the piano by using a melodica, or getting lotion to make himself smell better. He even has an arm wrestling competition with the boys in his class just to impress Yukihira. In simple words, Arima is down bad. And I'm be honest, kind of respect that. However, even though our down bad protagonist is the man with the plan, Arima's plans fail every time. Because of the bane of his existence, our most wholesome cock blocker, Miyahara. Miyahara is Arima's childhood friend and one of the heroines in his story. Will she be losing though? Hell nah. Bro, he's my favorite character in the series so far, always finding some way to screw up Arima's plans in just the most nonsensical way. The thing is, Miyahara doesn't screw Arima on purpose. It's all unintentional. She kind of reminds me of Chika from Kaguya-sama and the way she absolutely destroys the 5D chess plans Arima is making by simply existing. Miyahara just keeps thinking that this kid actually likes her. So if Arima is trying to impress Yukihira by going home alone with her, you know damn well that Miyahara will be there to tag along without even thinking about it. Man, damn, Miyahara might even say that Arima was waiting for her the whole time. <laughs> That's the type of character she is. Is, bro. Besides cock blocking, Mirahara is a character who is always just having fun, wrapping everyone in her shenanigans. It's that bright personality of hers that bumped her to the top of my list. Next we have the heroine that our main boy is simping for, Yukihira. Now Yukihira is in a weird place because she isn't a cock, nor the blocker, but the prize itself. And Going on with that, Yukihira's character is pretty tame in comparison to the other two's complete nonsense. But that doesn't mean that he's a bland character. While Arma might be the planner, Mihara is the loose cannon, and Yukihira is like the clumsy foundation, mostly being perfect but having those slips of dumbness, like eating too much and messing up her uniform, or getting the wrong coffee at Starbucks, small stuff like that, but still a little bit dumb, you know? Now, I don't have too much to say about the series because, well, it only has 13 chapters so far. But what I do have to say is that I truly love how Obia Midori Sensei expresses the awkwardness of love in his writing, being very reflective of real life, even with his comedic deposition. Seeing Arima and his struggles to get the girl he likes to notice him really touched a deep part of my past that I completely relate to. Not knowing what to do, trying things just to see if they stick, failing miserably, and then randomly succeeding are all essential steps in the maturing of youthful love. And there are steps that I feel like we never truly grow out of or get used to, even if we become more mature. Since this series is new, you can't really guess where we'll go or what a new chapter is going to be about. Each chapter brings something new and unexpected, as well as the growth of the relationship between the three main characters. I enjoy this series because it's so warm and wholesome. I know I use a lot of derogatory terms like cocks and cock blocking, but it truly isn't like that. All of it is very wholesome. Being on the same level as Takagi-san. It's the type of series where you can just sit back and relax, not having to use your head, but just enjoy the fluffy relationship building. Also, it's at the beginning point where you don't really know who's going to win Arima's heart. But to be honest, 
I think we all know who's gonna really win. Team ER all the way, you heard? That's what I'm talking about. I love the sweet moments spread throughout this rom-com, and I have high expectations for its future. It's the type of series that can go on for a long time without being overbearing. Just please, don't drag it and end it at its proper time. Also, before I go, I just have to talk about the art. It's so adorable, bro. The art style of Fujitaka Sumuri Sensei is cuteness personified. It perfectly reflects the series' lighthearted and fluffy nature. Also, I'm sure you already guessed the OSD I used while reading this budding gem. But yes, you got me. The OSD I listened to was the Teasing Master Takagi-san anime soundtrack. The soundtrack is just so perfect for the series, I can't trust it enough. The similarities between both of the series are just so clear, and the OSD's mix of rambunctious and somber tracks elevates the quality of the manga to true higher tier rom-com status in my books. So if you're looking for a good, light, and fluffy rom-com to indulge in, please check out No Miyahara, Not You. You can find it on Manga Index being translated by Blue Baka Translations. And when you read it, please listen to the Takaki-san OST as well. Well, that's pretty much it, so peace. Open this eyes up there hiding for